Hi, I'm Matt and this is my Orkney Strike Liner 16 Plus. Since I've owned the boat, every couple of weeks I've run the engine to allow fuel to go through the carburettor. I will show you how I start the engine and then show you the engine running. The first thing to do is connect a cold water supply to the outboard motor. I use a garden hose connected to a set of flush muffs. Once the engine has been started, it will need a constant flow of water to prevent it from overheating. The outboard motor is electric start, so it needs to be connected to a 75 amp hour battery. This outboard motor has a remote control unit, which houses the ignition key and the kill switch button. It has oil level and overheat warning lights and a fast idle lever. Turning the key to the first position sends power to the gauges. The outboard motor needs a fuel supply, which in this case is unleaded petrol. The air vent on the fuel tank needs to be opened and the fuel bulb needs to be primed. You keep pressing this until it goes hard and then you know there is fuel in the line. The last thing to do is set the fast idle lever to about halfway and then you can go ahead and start the engine. If there is a strong jet of water coming out of the telltale, then you know the water pump is working correctly. A loud noise was coming from the throttle cables vibrating against the hull, so I had to move them out of the way. Once the engine has warmed up for a couple of minutes, I close the fast idle lever and then the engine revs are idle. With the cowling off, you can see the three carburettors of this three-cylinder engine. Access to the oil filter and to the spark plugs is on this side. The engine will stop if you pull the kill cord or turn the key anti-clockwise. I live near to Pool Harbour in Dorset. Pool Harbour is home to the Sunseeker Yacht Factory. I've decided to keep my boat at a boatyard, which is just off the River Frome, a river that feeds into Pool Harbour. There is a private boat ramp and plenty of space to store the boat on its trailer. You can see that she is only about 50 metres away from the ramp. I changed the trailer wheels over again, so now it will be standing on its old wheels and tyres. The winter season at this yard is from 1st of November until 31st of March. You can see here the auxiliary outboard motor that I've just bought. It's a Honda 2.3 and matches the main engine. We'll have a closer look at this on the next video.